Any other toothpaste in your face Leave no trace Travel in outer space Listen to the bass and brace yourself You're gonna need a belt When you feel your brain melt To the sound that I dealt Yeah, that's pain you felt Interrupt me once more You won't have a face No psychotic, idiotic mind Frying wordplay Leaves y'all stupefied and flabbergasted Dismay Under no circumstance Should I perform a woe dance I want you to advance As it may cause a brain trance I whack you with the spatula Bite you like Dracula Return to hibernacula Think about the formula Open of an escape with a dead conjugate A mess I'll create when I best Jesus straight in a flow battle Desecrate and remove the eye handle I'm no match for that scandal I'll brand him in a sandal He'll cry for his mother when he tries something other than to play true like I do International respect attacking you, molecular stats you lack to spats into you for marrow quintessence. Lunar illusions, luminescence, hot rot to the brain and kicks out the same goddamn fame. Let me hear you say my name. Seven C colors got your mom spitting colors in his rhyme, something other than the mainstream fella. Seven C colors got your mom spitting colors in his rhyme, something other than the mainstream fella. Seven C colors got your mom spitting colors in his rhyme, something other than the mainstream fella. Out there. We've ripped the old bar out. I've managed to rip down another piece of this timber and we've got the bar cut to length. So as you can see we're looking at uh, 4.1 meters for the bottom bar which is all of this and then we've got another two meter bar that goes up the stairs on the top end in the new pub. 
The problem I'm working with here is that the timber is twisted and that both of these planks, if I want to match up the grain and if you can see from where you are, I'm not doing too bad a job. It's just this back edge bit which will probably be covered by a hand pull or something. So I think we've pretty much got it looking all right. But the trouble is, this end, the twist falls down and away here. Then if I come up this end, it takes a dive that way. So if I set the camera up before we go, I'll show you down the length of it and you'll be able to see the problem that I'm dealing with here. Right then chaps. So we're in front of the table now, or the bar top, and I'll just bring you down to get a bird's eye view of this twist. There you go. So you can see that if I just lift the camera and pan to the left, you can see how that dives away, this section just here. It really just disappears out of view. And then if we look straight down to the right of the bottle of beer and we start to just climb back up again, you'll see that the end of the table down there, there it is, it's just appeared again. So all the way down that bottom section, all the way down there, will fall out of view as we come down, look. So there's the hump and we come down to the bottom edge and then here is the side view. You can see it dipping away on the left. If I come to the edge, we're not too bad for meeting up down the length there. That's not too bad at all, but it ain't perfect. Yeah, and this morning you saw me welding up a couple of pieces of equipment. So this, with the tabs on either side, is to sit on the cask washer, like so allowing me to put kegs on top with the adapter upside down so I'm not going to be fouling any pipe work and we can fill and drain with caustic and cleaners like that and then I also did a little bit more work on the cleaning matrix so we've got a caustic inlet isolated an acid inlet isolated a rinse to obviously get rid of that caustic or acid and I've added a gas port initially we're going to use air just to purge it's cheap it's free I've got a compressor we're going to use air to push the caustics and the acids around and also CO2 reacts with caustic so we don't want to be using CO2 in the caustic tank so we use compressed air to clean it and then the day we come to fill the tanks We'll give it a rinse with paracetic, okay, so the caustic side's out of the question, and then we'll purge then with CO2, and then when we fill up the keg, it's in a CO2 controlled environment. But that's pretty much it, folks. Gemma keeps uh, poking red around the corner, hinting for me to go. We're going to wrap it up. We're coming back tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're going to start with some carcassing or maybe painting the cellar floor but I can't do much more to this bar top now until we get it in place. And that is a job for tomorrow. We'll see you then.